Markle has been accused of copying Jennifer Lawrence two days after her Vogue interview. Meghan is dying to get her name into American Vogue, and Anna Wintour is the petty queen who won't allow it. It's funny how Anna called Meghan her dream, met Gala guests in 2019, and now Meghan can't even get a call back. As rumours were swirling that Meghan Markle won't be getting a Vogue cover or an invite to the Met Gala ever, anonymous source said, My neighbour's sister-in-law works at Vogue. They were all hysterical laughing at the text they got for the name change from Markle to Sussex. She's such a wannabe. Apparently they were going to leave it, but Yellen prevailed on Anna Wintour and Anna Wintour agreed to the name change, but said something along the lines of, that's why she will never be on a Vogue cover or at the Met Ball. Unspoken was the phrase, such white trash. Anna Wintour's boyfriend is Bill Nye, the English actor, a class act. Imagine what he knows. It comes after Vogue received a ton of backlash over the article with Gloria Steinem and Meghan Markle. Not a fan to say the least, Joan Collins slammed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle amid their trip abroad. Do we need to give any of them any more oxygen? The dynasty alum questioned on Good Morning Britain when asked for her thoughts on the royals' recent stay in the UK. The Tomorrow Morning star, who was bestowed the title of Dame by Queen Elizabeth II in 2014, also threw some shades specifically at Meghan as the host wanted to know Collins' opinion on any other duchess making headlines. Who could that be? I have no idea, she quipped in reply. Who could that be? I have no idea, she quipped in reply. Later on in her Good Morning Britain appearance, she also commented on Meghan's reaction to Mariah Carey using the phrase diva to describe her. I think it's rather nice to be called a diva now and again. I mean, it's supposed to be a compliment actually, Collins remarked. Meghan is best known for her racy role as Rachel Zane in Suits and as the barely clad suitcase girl on a cheesy game show. After meeting Prince Charming, Meghan announced her retirement from acting in 2017 after she got engaged to Prince Harry. The couple later took a step away from royal duties, moved to California and signed multi-million dollar deals with Netflix and Spotify. Now royal expert Kinsey Schofield told that she thinks Rachel would have gone back to acting already if that was her intention. The To Die For daily podcast host said, She's got a big fat contract with Netflix. She could do whatever she wants with Netflix. Not exactly. Netflix cancelled her cartoon life story after she produced nothing in two years time. She added, so why isn't she producing? Why isn't she starring in some passion project with Netflix? Because she's had two years to do that. So I'm not of the team Meghan wants to go back into acting. Kinsey went on to say of the failed princess, I don't think she's gonna go back into acting. I mean, she's had this Netflix deal and she's had several years to do whatever she wanted to do with it and nothing's come to fruition. If she wanted to be an actress, she's had the opportunity to do that with Netflix contract and a Netflix relationship. I don't understand what the holdup is. Kinsey thinks that the couple is in a really good place to create really compelling content. Like what? Kinsey believes that Megan could explore options relating to her love of literature or even bring back her defunct lifestyle website, The Tig, in some form on screen.